Welcome back everyone to Missions 101 where today we will have the final two missions in the Erebor set. And the first of these is Trouble at the High Crag. Gundabad will be ours once more. We've received word that my kinsfolk in the Misty Mountains are dealing with a most unusual problem. It seems that another stone giant down from Erebor's Peak has taken to propping open the gates of Gabilazan. It seems like some of the queer games played by the giants and their kind, as I don't believe it means my folk any real harm, is letting all sorts of foul beasts and weather in. You are to travel to Gabilazan and do what you must to drive off that stone giant. Oh, you have got to be kidding. Let's go and deal with the giant. Oh, first of all, I guess he has some sort of stun or crushing blow. Probably crushing blow. Yeah, crushing. After reclaiming Gabilazan from the Dower Hands and their foul allies, the dwarves of Durin's folk must now contend with the other inhabitants of the Misty Mountains. Your mission is to repel the meddlesome stone giant troubling the dwarves at Gabilazan. Alright, let's go. Here is... Vigar Roadwalker. I haven't seen him in a while. And here are all sorts of nasty things that were led in by the giant. So I need to fend off vicious cold from Gabilazan. So I need to take care of some cold. That's right, he did say something about letting in cold. I guess I just thought it was regular cold that was let in. I didn't think that was going to be this bad of a cold. And we also have to defeat Invading Snow Beasts. Well, I guess that makes sense, considering the, all the Snow Beasts that are here. Forward! Oh, I was afraid I was going to get all three of them at the same time. Not that it's going to matter much, considering how fast I'm getting through them. There you go. Actually, I'm at level 13 now. Let's see, I've got another rank that I could rank up on that. Alright, there you go. Now, let's see if that does anything. Probably won't be able to tell all that much. It's, all, it's when you have large amounts of them. The fact that I had a new weapon plus, even before, four increments on it that probably gave it a nice chunk of damage. There you go, and let's see, yeah, he's, I am getting through those snow beasts quite effectively. There, there is a, there's a frost grim up here somewhere. There you go, who let the cold in? It's chilly here. Oopsie daisy. And I guess after this we will be fighting the giant after we take care of all these. Oh! Can I ambush cold? Ambushing cold. Maybe I should bring a space heater next time. That probably could help things a bit. Okay, okay, there is a minor detail of... How are you gonna... Fuel it, but then again, I guess there are space heaters that use something like propane instead of... Instead, instead of electricity, right? Yeah. Hmm. Let's take care of that. Ha! Huh. And I think, is this the last one that we need? And after this, that means we have a giant to face. Or is there anything else? Ha! Huh. Drive off the metals and stone giant. Now, I notice I don't have to kill it. I just have to drive it off. So where is it at? I suppose it's going to be this way. Which means I'm going to have plenty of uh, mobs to face in order to get there. Oh, there's the giant. <laughs> How did I miss the giant before? Okay, it... Its coloration is 
seems to be pretty close to the stone back there. So I did have to go back into that corner for those final two there because there is another rim off in this direction. Of course, I probably didn't want to be right next to the gate when the stone giant spawned, but that's an entirely different matter. I guess you may want to make sure that you have plenty of vicious cold and other things to face when you are doing this. I can't see. Alright, now. Ah, there we go. I can see now. Metalson Stone Giant. This is. Oh, I see why I say drive it off instead of kill it because it's an elite master and. Well, I don't think that. I'm gonna need it, but who knows? Let's see what happens. Can I actually ambush this thing? Uh, yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Giant country. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Everything on cooldown. Hey, stop that! Oh. Ouch. Stop it! That... The Bells and Stone Giant tires of your games and leaves Gabilazad. Enough! I'm tired of this game, Hobbit! Well, good. You could stay out. Hi there! Oh. One less giant to worry about. I have a feeling that pesky giant will be back again finally, but you've done well. Let us return. The giant has left for now. Long live King Thorin. Long live Durin Stonehelmson. Let's hope that giant leaves them alone. At least for a few days. At least for a few days. Well, with that done, we have one more mission left. Wrath of the Frost Heart. Hail, friend. A few of our scouts were able to approach Mount Gundabad, and they were fortunate enough to escape the notice of Frost Horse. It seems that many of Freemill's brood have begun to roost near the Wall of Ice encasing the gates of the mountain. It's true that Prince Durin wishes to gain entry to Gundabad, but such a task comes with great risk. Hmm. You are to travel to the gates and attempt to br reach the ice, preventing the Gabilaka from entering into Mount Gunabad. Do not remain there longer than you must, though. And attempt to breach the ice. Me, by myself. Oh, an army of dwarves can't do it, but this little hobbit is expected to do so. Yeah, right. What's the twist here? That they're asking a hobbit to do it. Hremel's Chose. I should have figured it would be Hremel's Chose. I mean, what else would it be? By the breath of Hino Frostheart, the gates of Gundabad were sealed shut. If the dwarves of the Gabielaka intend to enter the sacred mountain, they shall first have to overcome the towering wall of ice that separates them from their prize. Your mission is repel the Frost Horde and attempt to breach the ice. Yeah, like that's going to succeed. I suspect that's not happening until the release of the Goombod expansion. It appears that I need to attempt to breach the ice ceiling Mount Goombod six times and defeat 14 members of the Frost Horde at Mount Goombod. Hmm. I need to make six attempts. Not just one, not just two, but six attempts. We could try that. Uh, for a moment there, during the transportation, I had forgotten what the twist is. But it is, of course, Hremil's Chosen. There you go. Hmm. Frostbound Squall Shaper. Okay. Well, hobgoblins are always a real pain. 
and and so most likely is well that that hobgoblin wasn't that bad I've had worse I was assuming that that cold whelping would have been using Hemel's chosen because that sounded like a likely one to be oh, of course I have drakes in there also I mean why won't there be drakes I mean this is We are talking about a a Remo based item here. There you go. A Remo based mission, and of course, Remo based missions are going to be full of full of nasty things like drakes on top of hobgoblins, hobgoblins and drakes. Those seem to be the favorites with Remo. There you go. Primo, I guess, just likes having hobgoblins around. But they don't like having hobbits around, apparently. Freezing metal. Oh, okay. I, I, I was almost afraid that that one was going to be one of those lingering things. Happen. Yeah. It's minus 60% melee damage. Oh, oh. It, it's an aura effect. Yeah, that's an aura effect. Okay, so I'll just have to make sure that I stay out of the aura when it happens. It's hard to see the aura clearly when you've got the... in this particular terrain. Oh, see what I mean? I'm just missing the fact that I got this mist coming out, so I think it's something other than... Oh, well, boy, this is going to be a real tough one. Alright, let's bring this Drake over here. And this Drake is probably the one that has Remo's chosen, of course. There you go. And it doesn't help that I got this Hobgoblin there. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's probably what Remo's chosen, yes. Apparently the Hobgoblin also has it. Let's get out of this thing. Oh, stay out of that. All right, hobgoblins and because I'm sure that the drakes also have it, which means I can't. Well, if I were better coordinated, I could do both at a time. But we're talking about pine leaf here, not some super coordinated individual. All right, there you go. Look at everybody wants to do it. Okay, well I managed to stop them both anyway. No 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 don't steal my weapon Well that went better than I thought it would Oh <laughs> I spoke a little bit too soon because I just bumbled on top of an entire horde of enemies. Well, now that's par for the course for Pine Leaf. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Uh, let's get out of here from this might of free mill who might be a problem. Ah, now, six attempts. Here's attempt number one. Massive chunk of ice. Yeah? A few small fragments break loose, but the ice resists your efforts. Okay. Well, I have to. <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to be able to even do a small bit of ice while I'm standing in the might of free mill. Yeah, nope. Nothing there. Okay, now. This is going to be... It looks like I'm going to have to face three drakes. Well, a drake and two drakelings. There you go. Now you're going down. You're going down. Alright, so when they say to have... Six attempts, that means 
Attempting it at six different places. Alright, I suppose that makes sense. Seeing if I can find a weak spot in all of this. Is there a weak spot here? Looking for weak spots. Well, no surprise there. Next. Said, it's unlikely we're going to be able to do anything. Until the release of the Gundabad expansion. Now, I missed a spot. One more spot here somewhere. Right, where did I miss? Well, it's probably back here since I didn't go very far. Aha! There it is. The furthest away piece. Yeah, like, that's likely to get me inside and cause a complete cascade. Well, that didn't do anything except to end the mission. So now, I need to find... Ah, there he is. At least he's in the viewable range and I could skirt the mobs in getting here. Oh. And I guess we could also check to see what the rewards are when we get back. What do you say? You've done enough for now, Pine Seed. Let us leave this place before the Frost Horde overrun us. Yep, that's a good idea. I managed to get enough ice to help with someone's beverage, but that's just about it. Long live King Thorin. Long live Durin Stonehelmson. It'll take time to breach the wall of ice outside Gundabad, but once we do, the mountain shall be ours once more. All right, that's the spirit. Ah, and that completes... Oh, that's right, that was the... completed the deed for doing all ten missions here. And also, aiding the... Hail, one. friend. I thank you for your assistance, Pine Seed. We of the Karu Mukar cannot be everywhere, but you have done much to aid us. So that gives us ten more of these tokens for doing the weekly. Now, what else can we get here? Gundabad will be ours once more. Oh, we have a muster to Arazakar, and we need oh. In order to get that, you need to be level 130. So obviously, it also requires neutral standing with the Karum Ubnar, which I don't have, whoever that is. I presume that's something if you are for the level cat people. So you, I won't be able to get that. Then we have some bracers, some other items that you can get here. Actually, let's check here. Ah, all different levels. Travel skills, which are require some neutral here. We need some acquaintance. Well, obviously, then this must be rip with the. Okay, with these people then. But I also I don't have that rip yet apparently. So what is the? I suppose I should check to see what my rep is. And. Let's see, that will be right over here. Reputation. Ah, here we go. Outsider. Outs after all I've done for these people, I'm still an outsider. But in any case, when you get up to neutral, then... Well, I can't get a port because I'm not 130. But I might be able to get some equipment if I wanted to, which is... And like there's also some... At friend level, you get some cosmetics. Like... Durin Stone, Aged and Weathered Durin Stone, Gundabad Spire, some nice stuff. A small Rohiric Ballista, East Gate of the Moria Arch, TA 2799, Banner of Azog. Yeah, so all sorts of stuff. You get a cloak. Hmm, actually, that might not be a bad winter cloak. I don't have really. I don't have a decent winter cloak. On this character, I think. But okay, that might do it. Hmm. Uh, how about if I go back to a regular one and take a hat, much like Velot? I guess Velot is someone you meet in the storyline. 
large city furnace pipes. <laughs> well, I don't know what that's all about. And there are also some cosmetic fist of the snowy mountain eagle. You need 75 for that, but I can get it if I want to. And Tome of the Cart Pony. Okay, well, some things to look forward to, perhaps. Actually, actually I guess that ends it for our look into the Erebor missions that we have here over during the Blood of Azog update. Ten new missions that you could head out to and complete for the dwarves. And of course, you may you have the ten missions here. You have the ten missions that you have over in over in Trestle Bridge. You have the ten that you have over in the Elder Slades, and of course, you have the Bilbo Baggins little subset, the Further Adventures of Bilbo Baggins. So you have quite a number of missions that are now available on each day. But that's it for today's set, and I'm sure that we'll be returning when we have the release of Gundabad later on this year. But until then, this is Prime Noodles reminding you to skirmish responsibly. <laughs>